it starts off this way. In that day, everyone in the land of Judah will sing this song. Our city is strong. We are surrounded by the walls of God's salvation. Open the gates to all who are righteous. Allow the faithful to enter. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. This passage in Isaiah would become very influential to us, uh, mainly because of a man by the name of Edward Bickerstaff. Edward Biggerstaff uh, was born in London in 1825. He became pretty influential as a minister and just a Christian leader. He became the editor of the musical companion of the Church of England's Book of Common Prayer. So in other words, this guy was going places and he had a lot of influence. When he was 50 years old, he was on vacation. So this is 1875, he's on vacation. And while on vacation, he goes to church service, he hears a minister preaching on Isaiah 26 of all passages. And the minister stresses that in Isaiah, in Isaiah 26, uh, Isaiah is, is, is punctuating this idea of peace. Shalom is the word used there. Shalom, shalom. He's emphasizing it, using it uh, very uh, strongly, using it twice in, in the Hebrew. And the minister uh, was, was making the point that Isaiah is trying to help us realize that this isn't a peace that this world offers. It is a peace that only God can give. It is an absolute peace. It is something that only God shares and only God, it only is found in God. Isaiah, uh, Biggerstaff liked this sermon from Isaiah 26, uh, but really didn't pay it much more thought until he was visiting a relative and, and it came back. And uh, in the conversations with the relative, he decided to go ahead and pen a poem that you might be familiar with. It turned into a song called Peace, Perfect Peace. Here's a few of the verses. Peace, perfect peace. In this dark world of sin, the blood of Jesus whispers peace within. Peace, perfect peace, by thronging duties pressed to do the will of Jesus, this is rest. Peace, perfect peace, with sorrow surging round on Jesus' bosom, not but calm is found. Or the last verse. It is enough. Earth's struggles soon shall pass, and Jesus calls us to heaven's perfect peace. We all desire peace. We all want that in our lives. Yet so often we frantically go about our lives expecting peace to just kind of fall into our laps. We want that perfect peace to come just by having an afternoon off, just by having a weekend where we can sleep in, just whatever it may be that we've defined peace. But that's not shalom, shalom. That's the kind of peace that the world might offer. That's the kind of peace that a little bit of rest might offer. It's not the peace that God offers. Peace, perfect peace. If you find yourself running ragged, if you find yourself in need of something more than just a little bit of a break, if you find yourself in need of perfect peace, then you need to look to the perfection of Christ. And you need to let Him lead your life in the way of peace. I hope you have a peaceful weekend that is authored by Jesus. Love you guys. See you later.